In this tutorial we will go over how to set up a rig for a horse in Cascader so you can animate it and use the built-in physics tools to add more life to your animation and to make it physically accurate. This horse model is from Blender Kit and while the armature is not perfect, I think it looks very good. I made a few modifications since originally there were no bones for the tail, so I added a simple bone chain that is parented to the pelvis. And I also created a low poly version of the tail because the original one has a bunch of vertices and in my experience Cascader can struggle a bit with high poly models. After importing the model to Cascader we can immediately go to rigging mode and since currently quick rigging tool doesn't support rigging quadrupeds, we will need to create the rig manually. Creating a rig should start from the first joint in the hierarchy, usually it is the pelvis bone as it is in this case as well. The spine consists of multiple joints but I don't want to create rigid bodies for each one separately. Since the horse spine is not that flexible I think 3 or 4 rigid bodies should be enough. I will first select the pelvis then the joint where I want the rigid body to end. So I will skip one joint and select the third one. And now if I add the rig element it will contain the first two joints of the spine. But the additional point controller should be placed on the top and not on the side in order to tear the hip correctly. So I will undo my last step and select the correct axis where I want the point controller. You could use global Y axis but in my case I will check which local axis is pointing in the correct direction and set that one. And now the point controller is at its correct position. Now for the rest of the spine it's pretty much the same process. I will select the next joint then the end joint and create a new rig element. If the point controller is placed on the opposite side you can move them with the manipulators. Same for the neck, I will create one rigid body for two joints in my case. Then for the head, I will select the head joint and one of the child of the head that is in the middle and I will move the point to the nose so the rigid body is aligned with the head. And the additional point controller I will move to the top of the head. To be able to add secondary motion with the auto physics tool, I will add rigid bodies to the tail as well and I will again use two joints for each rigid bodies. If you have been using the global axis for the additional point controllers until now, you may want to switch to local here, especially if your tail is curling down as it is in this case. While you could quickly create rigid bodies for all of the joints by selecting every one of them and checking multiple create, I prefer to have fewer controllers. And I will add spline IK to ensure that the tail deformation remains smooth. Spline IK makes the joints between two point controllers follow a spline instead of a straight line. Creating it can be a bit tricky, you need to select the main and the direction point controllers from the beginning to the end, and then select every joint in between. To select the joints it's easier to switch to joint mode view, but don't forget to keep the shift key pressed to select everything. When everything is selected, click the add spline button under the main actions. Since my rig is symmetrical, I only need to rig one side of the horse. I will start with the back leg by creating rigid bodies for each joint. Here the additional point controller should point to the side since the joint mainly rotates around this axis. Once each joint has a rig element, I can set up the hinge action. Hold down shift and select two additional points where the limb should bend. Under hinge action, click union to hinge. This way the two points will be joined and you can see that the pole target appears on the correct side. You can adjust the distance of this pole target however you like. And I will also add the additional point controller of the next joint to this connection. The front leg is pretty much the same, I created rig elements for each joint and added hinge action for the top joint. In this case the pole target is pointing backwards, which if you check how horse legs bend is the correct direction. For the rigid body of the feet or hoof, you can set collision with the ground. In my case the last joint ends on the ground level, which is not desirable, so I will move the last point controllers above ground. You can check the global position of this point in the transform properties, just make sure that the Y coordinates are positive. This is all the rigid bodies I will need, but I will also add the box controllers for the parts of the body that don't significantly affect physics. I will only add box controllers for the mouth, nose and ears. You can also scale up these controllers to create actual boxes rather than just rectangles. 
While it's possible to add more box controllers for the stomach area, I wasn't planning to animate this part so I'm finished creating the regulaments. Before mirroring the limbs, I will set the correct size of the rigid bodies so they are around the same size as the mesh. I also set the weight of each rigid body. I couldn't find any detailed info about this, so I checked uh, that a horse should weigh around 400 to 800 kilos. And with the help of ChatGPT and my rough estimation, I came up with these values that you can see right now. Feel free to copy it, but I'm sure these are not accurate. And I will go through each box controller and rescale them so they will be selectable easily in box controller mode. You have better control than scaling if you switch to local mode. And now I can set up the mirror plane, select the rig elements which I want to mirror, and set the correct suffix, and create the mirrored objects. And that's basically all we had to do. So after generating the rig, we can begin animating. Keep in mind that auto-posing is only available for humanoid characters and will not work with this kind of rigs. However, you can still use physics tools like auto-physics to add secondary motion to your animation. If you want to learn more about rigging, check out the official documentation and the tutorials on Cascader's website. I will leave some useful links down below. And if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to help.